Okay, I'd like to call the Finance Property Committee meeting to order at 5 p.m. Tuesday, December 8th, 2015, the third floor conference room at City Hall. I'm Terry Dolan, the chairperson. I'd like to go around the room and everybody introduce yourself, starting with the Finance Committee. Uh, Greg Hepp, District 6. Lee Town, District 1. Tom Marion, District 4. Jake Mathias, City Times. Steve Chaparral, City Assessor. Mayor Zach Bruink. Jason DeMarco, Information System. Matt Storm and Information Systems. Todd uh, Ferky, District 2. Uh, Wendy Hack, Solaris. And Patrick Blazinski, Solaris. Adam Tegan, Planning and Economic Development. Okay, hey, item one, the meeting has been called to order. Item two, request to purchase IT server hardware from RMM Solutions. Yes. <laughs> We're looking to purchase uh, all new server hardware. Um, Currently our hardware that we have is getting a little bit on the data side and we're starting to run out of storage. Uh, our email server is having some issues. and uh, So what we're looking to do is replace all the servers that we currently have minus our AS400 uh, with two new servers, uh, virtualize them so that we can have multiple servers running on the hardware. Um. Well, I asked if Tim was here because I guess I... I'm no, you, you're there, he there he is! There he is! <laughs> <laughs> For those of you at home, it's Tim. <laughs> Just, uh, Just your name. Oh, the server hardware, we talked about yeah. that, and we're good budget-wise. Yeah, we, we put money aside each year in the annual budget to for the replacement of those. We went back and forth on pricing. I know with these guys, um, yeah. <coughs> they ended up. We did get another bid from another yes. provider, and these guys were a bit more competitive. So yes. um, they're relatively local. Yeah. Questions? Yeah, if you got anything, feel free. We did have some discussion. There's a lot of talk about cloud and migrating to the cloud and virtualizing all of this, and and so we're we're still taking some steps in that direction. Yes. So we still need a few on-premise for our email and some other things, but at some point as we move in the future, PD was another one that I know was sensitive information, yep. so we need to have mm. that on-premise. PD, a lot of the video. Uh, GIS is another one where... It just we, doesn't work well in the cloud. All right. But as, I mean, everything's going so fast, so eventually, you know, we'll sure. make the move to a cloud once it's feasible. Anybody else? Make a motion. <laughs> so, well, Mike, is this in conjunction with the next one? Is that no? This is no, separate. This, this is separate. separate. This okay. is separate. But what, they won't work. To, they don't work together. Or not. I mean, that's no. not. Okay. This will take. Uh, I think Park and Rec. We talked about the camera, the surveillance, oh, yeah. putting it all okay. apart. Um, so the survey, the server will. Um, handle that as well. So we're yeah, not having yeah. to duplicate. Uh, right. Originally, we're proposed to have to go with a vendor server on that. Yeah. This is we actually that too. we actually went back to the vendor and we built this out so that it can handle that. We don't have to purchase extra hardware. Oh, okay. Okay. Because that was in the parking wreck. Yeah, that was right. weird. Right. We right. Couldn't yeah. couldn't do it with our current mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'll make a motion to purchase or to purchase IT. Server hardware from RMM Solutions. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? A motion is second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carried. Item three: request to purchase phone system and related hardware. Let me take this one. You can take Go this one. All right. Um, so I don't know if you've ever seen the city phone system, but it's pretty dated. <laughs> um, Solaris is actually moving away from the copper lines onto fiber and they've done it pretty much the whole city's done already um, and we're kind of behind the times on this. Our contract ran up in November so now is the optimum time to pick a new solution and, and move forward with some updated technology. Uh, so we went to uh, RMM again um, for the same type of solution except for um, Solaris would actually host the solution, whereas 
RMM was presenting a solution where we would have all the servers and everything that runs the phone system and we would just get the phone line from Solaris. Um, we've been working a long time on this on this quote, uh, a couple of eight or nine months here. So we finally got all the numbers together. We got everything uh, worked out with Solaris and with RMM. Uh, we came back and um, we would like to uh, move forward with Solaris and and have them provide a host of service. They are a local, you know, Wisconsin Rapids company, and uh, they came back and they worked with us real well on this on this quote, and and we feel comfortable moving forward with Solaris. And they have all this presented. To they do not have this. Oh, they don't. Wait, wait. I think we got it in the email. Oh. But yeah. Well, no, no, this one. Is more up uh, actually in the, uh, the library in this yeah. part of it. Oh, it's different than this. Thing. Is it the different one than the one you put in our mailbox? It's, it's slightly yeah. different. Okay. Um, the Solaris came back with an actual <coughs> other updated quote uh, with some bundled solutions that uh, added discount. And it changed the numbers quite a uh, bit. This here is just the library stuff. Um, this is well, the yeah, it, it, it's yours. Oh, okay. but the actual quotes are uh, just for the hardware and uh, uh, to support the library. But in their mailboxes, they've got the entire suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the mailbox, yeah. everything was in there. Right. Yeah, so um, the, the summary sheet does not include the library. Uh, the library is a, is a subject. But um, as you go down through uh, the spreadsheet there, I can go over it a little bit with you, but there's a hardware piece. Um, uh, Solaris, I did it in two columns because they have a bundled solution for services and they have one that is, is not bundled. And I did pricing out for both. And I believe um, we decided it was best to go with the bundled solution. What do you mean by bundle? Uh, the that's managed with service. The discount on the managed services. Yeah. It is more expensive on a monthly basis. We've been working with Wendy. And these guys have worked with Wendy um, a lot just more recently to bridge that gap um, because it is an increased cost to the city. So trying to accommodate it in future budget years, you know, if any increase was a bit of a challenge, but we've we've gotten really close to uh, to to uh, where we should be at. I think, in, from our perspective, in the tenant. Yeah. And I know we kind of discussed it. We discussed this a little bit with the budget. Mm -hmm. And we, where are we robbing to pay for this? Well, there's, there's, so there's two pieces to this. It's the operations and it's the capital. Right. Um, the capital side for the hardware for the phones is what I think what you're referring to, and that's where we would pull it from, potentially from the reserves of the director, of the unfilled position yeah. of the director okay. of foundation technology. Just want to clarify that mm -hmm. and leave right up well in a lot of that. So. I don't know, Tim, what was budgeted? I don't have the budget in front of me, but I think our hardware is fifty six thousand on this one. Yes. This would Right. What what will happen is, is that you know obviously we'll have a, a budget surplus in the IT budget due to the unfilled positions in that budget and part of the year-end carry for resolution those funds will be transferred to the IT capital budget to pay for the hardware and obviously the the monthly uh, expenditures will be covered by what's presently budgeted for and the next year will budget right the next two years I mean it's a three-year right. Right? it's actually a seven-year seven contract. Seven years, so we're gonna right. budget after that right. right we talked about that okay yeah, to make them comparable, like it only go out in three years. So I'd be specific because there may be yeah. different players in this room yep. next year, you know. And, mm -hmm. and there is, um, as a second part of this, there's an option for McMillan Library. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. To be able to, to update them as well. So, and their, their purchase cost. Um, would be an additional ten thousand four hundred, and then um, they would have a a monthly charge as well. Millen's now currently part of the city phone system under the set track, so they're kind of upgraded, but not. 
Yeah, I mean, if, if you upgraded the rest of the city, McMillan will still be on the old system so if you, you wanna, don't upgrade them. That's 10. Right, and that'll be funded the same way. Uh, it, I think it was maybe two budgets ago they had put money in to upgrade right. their phone service, and we said, hey, we're going to be looking at it. So we took it out of their budget and said, we'll just do it all at once. And that's what's reflected in the proposal. Yeah, so the total for the hardware would then be the 56000 on the summary sheet plus an additional 10 for, for this year yeah. for McMillan. <coughs> so if we approve this, do we then need an amendment to the budget then, or are we good because we talked about It'll it? Can we address in the transfer resolution? Yeah, the, the capital will be, yeah. Yeah, you'll, you'll be approving the actual budget okay. transfer. All the right. Date. We'll place the order after the council takes its action, and then probably after the first of the year was when we're going to see take delivery of the equipment. Is right. Then we'll get the equipment ordered and yeah. get all the programming kind of prepared, what how it's needed to be set up, and then get the orders going and get you installed. Lots to talk about. <laughs> lots, yep. Yeah, lots it's of, work a lot of work to do. To get to this right. Point, right. There's a lot more to go. Uh -huh. It's all transparent to us, so it just yeah, goes in, correct. right? Correct. <laughs> it just, it's just magic. I, and I will say, you know, obviously a big thanks to Solaris, but even staff, these guys in particular, but all of the departments to clear back their lines. I mean, there this has been a multi-year process to, to finally get to an end point where we're at today on, uh, on just trying to pare down any expenses where they, they had been previous. So I give a kudos to them. Yeah, I mean... How many means that we've been out where we talk about strong infrastructure and having Solaris and everything, and you know, like, you know, well, you know. There's so. also some upgrades in your data connectivity between your buildings that they can benefit yeah, from oh, huge you know, just data <laughs> transfer and that sort of thing between buildings. Mm -hmm. So uh, the offsite, the non-city hall locations have been very patient. Fire department obviously was in, I think, the yeah. referral. Yeah. Mm -hmm. RCCA, I mean, they've had some phone problems in the little center. And, and right. So, I mean, they finally get those dealt with. They've been really patient and quiet. <laughs> Thankfully, I mean, yes. they could have been really... Uh, well, challenged. to your point, we were talking even in the budget, it's been a long time, so... Mm -hmm. We've had this centric system for... A long time. Mm -hmm. I would say 80s, early 90s. Yeah, it's been... I mean, it's, the good thing is it's been solid and hung in there, but the bad thing is you haven't been able to take it advantage of any new functionality for a long time. Yeah. So. Okay, I'll make a motion to purchase phone system related hardware from Solaris. And I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks everybody. Item four, beverage operator license applications. Looking good there. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good Thank evening. Have a good evening. Too tight. Thanks. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> I don't know if this is ladies. No, yeah, yeah she's she probably she not here. That's her. You never know. You can look at these either out the. the beverage operator license and renewals as presented. And I'll second that. 
Further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Item five, one of the bills. Didn't you get the okay. list? Okay. I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> I don't have any questions. I looked at it. Oh, did you? Yeah, I came in the middle. Make a motion to accept the audit of the bills. I don't know what the voucher numbers are, though. Oh, I can. Offhand. I mean, I didn't write them down. <laughs> yeah, I can. We'll put it in a minute. Okay. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Item six, an open session. The committee will vote to go into closed session under section 19.85, para one, para e of the Wisconsin statutes, which reads, deliberating and negotiating the purchasing of public properties, the investment of public funds, or conducting other specified public business whenever competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. Look for motion to motion. go into close. Motion to go into closed session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are now in closed session.